Peace, power, and soul. Welcome back to the next local radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus Anuclear, leader of UNONC. Again, this is the next local radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus Anuclear, leader of UNONC. One more time for the ones that can't hear us in the background. This is the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus Anuclear, leader of the United Nation of Next Nuclear. Welcome back, activated ones. Welcome back, activated man. Welcome back, activated woman. Today's date is Wednesday, May 19th, 2021, 5 16 a.m. Today's topic is Activated DEA, the original 12 strands, part two. Again, Activated DEA. The original 12 strands part two activated dea the original 12 strands part two welcome back to part two of activated dea the original 12 strands like when i mentioned before um how we as the activated man and woman once calling ourselves black then calling ourselves carbon then calling ourselves bright people, then calling ourselves now, most currently, activated men and women, or activationists. But we as these activationists in our DEA put us apart from these humans who have DNA. And again, DEA, DEA represents deoxyribo-etheric alkali as alkaline men and women as activated men and women, what do we do? We activate, we create power, we stimulate, or we, not stimulate, but we cause um, things to, you know, go. We animate things, we can animate things, we can stimulate things with our mental power, with our fortitude, you know, based on who we are as energy, as these um, light beings in the layman's terms for ones to under so ones can understand but you know we are these light beings that have come down here as these carbon beings um currently and we have the original 12 strands that ultimately the two strands these humans have in their helix represents the standard idea or the standard model for what the humans think all life forms on earth have which is that helix which is the two strands of biological matter they only have two when i mentioned before in part one they only have two strands it's because they are creations we created them to have basic functions they're not activated by solar intel 1011 they're not activated by uh you know sunlight partially they are more in tune with the moon energies because again they are created just like how that asteroid or like i mentioned before helps them be able to retain some of the solar residue that is absorbed by the moon but they can only pick up alternative current because again they only have two strands of, of the original 12 strands of biological matter down here they only have two they only have the two as opposed to our 12 and the only way for us to because i just received this uh, idea right before starting this podcast but you know i received this transmission that the only way for us to fully activate all 12 strands of dea is only through solar influence it's only through activation it's only through solar activation can we as uh, futuristic futuritarians activated men and women radiant radioactive men and women as neutral next nubians and next nuclear the only way for us to be able to activate fully all 12 of the biological uh, markers or biological stamps or biological switches within our uh, biological matter for us to be able to do that, to activate or tap into these uh, different, um, what you say, access ways or gateways within our own um, selves, you know, as energy here, for us to be able to do that, it's only uh, accessible by raising a vibration. We have to raise the vibration and discipline ourselves. That is the only way. And we have to discipline ourselves by, again, staying in tune with the solar intel, solar activation. 
solar activation, activation by the sun, activation by our connection with our higher selves, you know, due to the parallel one on one. And again, our third dimensional selves, now fourth dimensional selves being able to transmit and receive solar blueprints from our extended selves in the eighth dimension. You know, our, again, all of this transmission, all of these ideas, you know, us being able to pick up all comes from, again, this, uh, this ability to, as we are beginning to evolve now in um, coming out of the third dimension, as we begin to evolve, coming out of third dimension, we, we are only able to, again, access more and more of um, these different strands. You know, we, we've only been able to, again, physically, we've been able to tap into, um, you know, that the third and fourth strands um, of our 12-stranded DNA, DEA. We've been able to tap into that uh, four four out of the 12 strands now because again it's dealing with the mental evolution you know that 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 is a physical evolution to be able to evolve your mind and basically be able to see these different abilities such as clairvoyance such as psychometry such as physical abilities to absorb light because we are able to absorb energies from stars we can absorb stars that's why our DA is so much different from DNA because, again, we can absorb energy, photon energy from suns. We can absorb stars. These humans cannot absorb stars, cannot absorb the energy from a neutron star or from this regular star that we call the sun every single day. Yeah, that's the reality of DNA versus DEA. And the only way for us to tap into these other 12 strands is by way of activation through the sun, solar intel, intelligence, solar intelligence. That's why it's called activated DEA, activated DEA, the original 12 strands, part two. Because for us moving forward, there's no artificial means, there's no drugs, there is no you know, LSD and acid, you know, you know, and shrooms and all I told you like about in these gateway drugs that a lot of humans have used and I've used once or twice, if not more, but were used to ultimately give some kind of enlightenment or some type of boost, mental boost to be able to, uh, you know, extend. But ultimately, there's no need for that when it naturally comes to, it, it naturally happens it it naturally happens when you are of the soul force it naturally happens and it's going to happen as we keep raising and rising because of these constant shifting energies here on this planet as we are shifting the planet forward we're getting fed the energy and the energy that's being um, dispersion into the atmosphere is affecting all of the other uh, others life forms that can't absorb it, losing their minds. They can't tap in because the, their their twelve their their two stranded DNA can only support again low vibrational energies, low vibrational energies, which means again they're not going to be able to survive in these higher dimensional these these higher domain energies when it comes to us being able to make this shift to the fourth dimension again a lot of them are in fear in fear what's going on again just talk about them leaving the planet because their 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 dna cannot support how the energy that is going to be coming to the planet because of how close the sun is going to get towards the earth getting closer and closer these energies are a threat because they cannot they don't have junk dna <laughs> that's the thing they will tell you these humans will tell you that they have junk dna but they don't they don't have junk dna only the ones when they have to take dna from Hen henrietta lex and you know they, they had to make a polio vaccine from a so-called black woman's uh cells because they know how powerful our 
biology is as these activated men and women. Our DA, our DEA is very, very strong. That's why the saying is black don't crack, quote unquote. Well, yeah, activational activational energies will keep extending us forward even if we so-called you know our biological matter will be able to extend even once we leave here because it's way more advanced than that of created biological matter natural organic solar matter natural authentic intelligence that's that's all that it is as we keep extending as we keep pushing ourselves mind body and soul being able to extend mind body and soul every day that is the reality we're only going to be able to access the the so-called junk dea aka the original 12 strands of dea that got implanted here only being connected to the original man and women aka us that's why we have the abilities that we have now most athletic you know again all of these physical attributes you know again mental attributes who we are now where we're going it all depends on how we are able to tap into these 12 strands or these other 10 or well, these other uh, eight strands of da or developing these you know yeah tapping into them because like i said before in order to, to tap into it, it it all is about your connection your repetition your your sort of connection and discipline when it comes to tapping and receiving tapping in to the solar intel tapping into the or being you know being able to receive the the solar um the energy here on this planet having the ability to open up your mind and receive the 11 11 the 111 the 101 the 1101 again what we have to do is continue, continuously focus our mind, bodies, and souls on the extended picture, the bigger picture. And that's this Newtopia. This Newtopia. This Newtopia that is already in the future. This, new, this Newtopia that's already in the future of people that look like me and you activated man activated woman of of us supreme supreme activated minds bodies and souls in this newtopia activated dea the original 12 strands part two this topic is brought to you by our higher selves set in the fourth dimension and higher as these multi-dimensional beings the next weekly radio show, U N O N C, is because that's all that matters. That is the only thing that we are connected with our future selves, being able to tap into the future, seeing these events, all the events in our lives play out the way it's supposed to play out, manifesting, aka manifesting necessary things again when it comes to shifting this paradigm that that's all of that's all the workings and doings of us we're shifting this planet forward we're shifting we're shifting this planet forward as activated men and women even the ones that don't even know that they're a part of this activational nuclear energy they don't even know it but they're still on, on a certain phase of spirituality and religion you know, and consciousness. They don't know that they're, you know, they're they're pushing and aiding in this uh energy moving forward subliminally because we're the ones pushing them forward. We're the ones as the luminaries, like I said, guiding luminaries of the next. When I mentioned that we are those luminaries guiding this guiding the people who are behind us, who are in behind 
whether it be in intelligence, but they're behind what got in them for by leaving breadcrumbs, by leaving dropping seeds, dropping gems. That's what we're doing. And some choose not to pick up the crumbs, and that's okay. Because a lot of people, a lot of so-called black people who call themselves black people won't be able to fully activate their DEA. They will only be stuck in the humanist state or the human state as being able to tap into the only two strands as the humanist. They will only be able, they will only have the helix. They won't be able to make that evolutionary jump because of their stubbornness their closed-mindedness again not being able to receive because you're closed closed mouths don't get fed closed minds don't get fed and you won't be able to extend when you have when your mind when your mind is closed when your soul is closed when your body when your spirit is closed etc when you're closed minded when your mouth is closed you won't prosper you won't be able to extend you won't grow so that's how it is we opened up our minds bodies and souls and are being rewarded with the energy we're being rewarded we are being rewarded we are being rewarded by the activational energies by our da being activated by tapping into these next uh biological markers biological mind stone milestones within our own bloodline within our own dea that's what all matters. That's the focus in this topic today, brought to you by our higher self, setting the fourth dimension and higher as these multidimensional beings. Um, UNONC, the Next to Clear Radio Show. Um, this is the Next to Clear Radio Show. I am your host. I'm, I am your host, Zirayas Razus Clear, leader of UNONC. Again, this is the Next Nuclear Radio Show. I am your host, Jesse Reyes Razus, I'm the clear leader of UNONC. Peace, power, and soul. Today's topic was um, activated DEA, the, the original 12 strands, part two. Again, activated DEA, the original 12 strands. Peace, power, and soul.